What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the Platinum Trophies that I earned in 2021. Let's get right into this. So for this video, I'm going to be trying to go as quickly as I can throughout all of these games because this past year, I did earn 25 Platinum Trophies, beating my personal best to get the most platinum trophies in one single year. Last year was my best year, which was my personal best of 17. This year I beat my personal best with 25. And honestly, I don't think in the next few years I'll be able to beat 25 because not only was there, yes, some easy platinum trophies that I earned, but there is some that I cleared off my backlog and some challenging trophies that I was finally able to platinum the game. And I'm extremely happy that I was able to do so. So instead of talking for so long, let's get through this list because there is 25 games that I did platinum. And hopefully this doesn't take long to explain and talk about some of these games along the way. Let's get started. The first game is Car Mechanic Simulator. I know simulator games are not for everybody, but Car Mechanic Simulator, I absolutely love. It is one of my favorite simulator games, and I think that's because I am a car guy. So going through purchasing cars, fixing them up, and then flipping them, I do like to buy and sell on the side with my resale business. So getting a chance to do that in a video game is always fun. This one here, there is a lot of glitchy and trophies that you have to grind to get. One of the grindiest trophies is to sell 1,000 cars because you can only buy three cars at a time and have three cars in your garage. Then you have to take time and it takes loading time to get back to your garage. Then you go there, you sell those three cars, and then you have to go back to the uh, shop to buy them, which you have to load back into the shop, and it just takes a lot of time. It doesn't take long to sell them and to buy and sell them, but the loading time is what takes the longest time for you to do this. So it is a great trophy, a great game to platinum for me, but it, it does take a lot of time. Next up is an easy game called Bird Game Plus. This one here, you play as a uh, bird in a drawn black and white uh, pictured game and there's only three levels for this game so it's super easy to platinum I didn't know what it was whenever I bought it but it's an easy platinum if you're into that next up is iron snouts one of the best easy platinums I've ever played basically you play as a uh, pig and you have wolves that are dressed up as different characters coming from you from your left and your right side and you basically got to beat them up it's a simple beat them up style game there's three different maps that you can play on it's a lot of fun and super easy to platinum. Next up is WWE Legends of WrestleMania. This was for the PS3. Now this was not purchased in one of my reselling lots that I bought. This one here I did buy off of eBay because it's one that I didn't have my personal collection. This one came out in I believe 2009 and I never got a chance to play it back in the day. So I decided to purchase it for my own personal collection and I did get the platinum in two days. I didn't realize how easy this game was to platinum and how easy the mechanics were. Some of them was really glitchy and some of the mechanics I didn't enjoy because it was an older wrestling game, but I did like this game and it, I just wanted to add it to my collection, but I did also get a platinum out of this game. Next up is One Word by Paugi. I probably butchered that. This is a quick, easy puzzle, a uh, word puzzle game, which I just like to play just in between my other games. I like to have some easy games to play. Wasn't expecting to get, to get a platinum out of it, but I did. The next game is Concept Destruction. Basically, it is a paper world, and it's like a demolition derby game. Didn't realize what it was, didn't realize it was an easy platinum to get. I just like Demolition Derby games, thought this was a cool concept, so I decided to buy it and earned a platinum out of it. Next is another simulator game called House Flipper. This game here, basically you buy, fix up, and sell houses, and you can go and fix up other people's houses in the game as well. Some of the trophies are extremely glitchy and it does take time to be able to grind out and get the platinum for, but it is an easy platinum and kind of a relaxing game. It's not better than Car Mechanic Simulator. That's one of my favorite simulator games, but it is still a decent simulator game and it didn't take too long for the platinum, but it did take some time for certain trophies to be able to get the platinum. Next up is Road Bustle. This game here, I didn't realize what it was. I seen it was on sale for under a dollar and that people in Facebook groups were raving about it saying how great it was to get this platinum. So I decided to buy it without doing further research. Basically, it's like a weird version of Frogger. 
where you just have to go for a certain distance and you will get the platinum trophy. I played it naturally just like that, but there is a glitch behind it where right at the start, you can go behind this little building and your character will continue to run but not move anywhere and the score will go up to where you need to get the platinum. I didn't realize this whenever I bought the game, I played it and got the platinum the way the game is intended to be played, but there is a glitch to get the platinum within I think seconds or minutes. So easy platinum if people want it that way, but it is also a fun game if you just want to play it the way it's intended, and at the time it was under a dollar. Next up is Super Destronauts Land Wars. Super Destronaut was uh, easy platinum that I got last year, which is basically Space Invaders, and this game here is basically Space Invaders, but you go around, you have to unlock guns, and it goes, you walk around like a normal shooter, except the Aliens are among you instead of floating down like regular space invaders. They're around the map and you have to go find and shoot them, which was an easy, uh, interesting concept. Space Invaders is one of my favorite retro games of all time, so of course I was going to go and play this game. Next was a game that I platinumed on the Vita. I platinumed it on the PS4 last year, but I decided to platinum it on the Vita. It is Gravity Duck. It's an easy... Uh, pixelated game to get a platinum for. Didn't realize how easy it was whenever I started to play it. And even after you get the platinum, you can go and continue to play the game and continue to go through even more levels. Next up is Monster Jam Steel Titans. Back whenever I was playing on the PS2 when I was younger, I loved the Monster Jam games, but I haven't played them since then, until Monster Jam Steel Titans came out. Now, when I started to play it, I didn't play it with the intent of getting the Platinum, and over time, I just got tired of the game and stopped playing it for a little over a year. When I started to go and start to trophy hunt again, I decided to pick it up, and a lot of the trophies for this game to get the Platinum are extremely grindy, but I eventually got the Platinum out of this game. It just took some time, but honestly, playing a Monster Jam game once again, since I haven't played one since my PS2 days, I absolutely loved it. Next up is another game that I Platinumed on the Vita called Bouncy Bullets. Honestly enough said, it's a super easy Platinum. I Platinumed it on the PS4 last year. Don't know why I wanted to Platinum it on the Vita, but I did. Moving on. Next up is Chickens on the Road. It's basically the reverse um, road bustle game. It's made from the same people, but it's like a reverse Frogger game where your intent is to, uh, I think, hit all of the chickens and avoid certain ones that will um, minus your overall score, and you have to avoid hitting the cars. I think you have to, sorry, I think you have to collect the chickens along the way, but you have to avoid hitting the cars. So very interesting concept, uh, easy platinum. Next is the Walking Dead final season. I absolutely love the Walking Dead Telltale games and to see the end of the series and be able to play that, and of course get the platinum like I can for all of the Telltale games was a lot of fun. I loved watching Clementine grow up through all the games and seeing the end of the series, because it is the end of Telltale, Telltale is no more. It was nice to relive all of those memories I had with Telltale, so easy, easy game. Next up is Suicide Guy, which is basically, how do I explain it? Through each level, your goal is to kill the character that you play. Along the way, there is collectibles and certain things that you have to do to get the Platinum, but nothing is missable. You can go back and replay all of the missions if you miss any of the collectibles or miss any of the things. Easy, easy Platinum to get, but I did enjoy the game, honestly. Next up is Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. This game here, I got it because I liked the last one. The last one I did get the Platinum for, so I decided since they came out with a newer one to purchase it. I've seen a bunch of the new updated and the monster trucks that weren't in the last game, but they were monster trucks that were in the PS2 game that I played back in the day, so I decided to get it. A lot less challenging than the last Monster Jam Steel Titans game, but still a little gl uh, grindy to get the Platinum, but finally I did get the Platinum for this game, and it's honestly a great game. Next up is... My name is Mayo2, don't know why I decided to get the second game, and I did, got the Platinum, we are moving on. Next up is Spectre Woods. This is a game that, again, it was raving in a uh, Facebook group. I decided to get the Platinum, or, or sorry, I decided to buy the game to see what it's about and see if I can get a Platinum. I got the Platinum within less than five minutes. It's a super easy, cheesy game, not recommended, but if you like getting Platinum trophies, I guess go ahead and get this game. It's under a dollar at the time. Next up is Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. This here is 
a challenging game to get the platinum because you have to get gold playing against online players, get gold through certain um, games and that. My strategy was to find games that I liked and that I was good at and slowly play those online to be able to get the platinum. Of course, you have to go and play some of the other ones and you do have to get gold on the other ones playing by yourself. But whenever it comes to the online ones, try to only play the ones that you're the best at and try to get it that way. Easy game to platinum, but it does take a little bit of time. Next up is Energy Cycle Edge. This one here is an easy puzzle game, just like all the Energy Cycle games, except I never use the walkthrough online, which basically for the puzzle, you get the answer. I just go and play the puzzle game in between playing my main games, and eventually I get the platinum. That's why I go and get these games, because they're super easy to do. Next up is Telltale Batman and Enemy Within. This was the second and final Batman game in the Telltale series, and I never got a chance to play it back in the day. So I decided to buy it and play it when it was on sale. And boy, it was amazing. I love the anything that is Batman games. It is a lot of fun and I highly recommend, and you will get a platinum out of it because for the Telltale games, you just have to go and play through and beat the game. Next up is a word search game called 50 Words. I think it's from Paugi as well. Simple, easy game. I didn't buy it with the intent of getting an easy platinum. I bought it to relax when I'm in between some of my main games. Just something easy that I can go and play. I know it's a word search game. Not everybody likes them. I'm not really a huge fan of them, but I did get a platinum out of it, so it is what it is. Next up is Space Intervention. It's basically like Space Invaders, but again, an easy platinum version of it. Next up is... The hardest trophy, the hardest game that I was, ugh, how, how am I wording this? The hardest game that I've ever platinumed before, and that is Battlefield 5. The reason I say it is the hardest game is because some of the trophies have reset throughout different updates throughout the years, and a lot of them are extremely grindy to get. For example, there's a trophy where you have to get a total score online of 500,000. I was about 800,000 before that trophy finally popped. Another trophy that was extremely glitchy was you had to get 100,000 score throughout the four main classes for the game. For sniper class, I was at 150. For all the other classes, I was at 120,000 before the trophy finally popped for me. And it is extremely annoying when that happens, but if you're going to get this game, or you have been playing this game with the intent of getting the platinum, just know it is extremely possible to get, but it is such a headache. Don't go to play this game expecting to get a platinum and that's the only reason you're playing the game because you're going to get bored of it and not want to finish the game. Play the game solely to have fun as long as you're having fun, but once the game starts to not be fun, put it down for a while, pick it back up again later on, and maybe you will be able to eventually get the platinum, but it is such a challenged game because a lot of the trophies are glitched and it does annoy the crap out of everybody. But finally, I was able to get the platinum, and like I said, it is the hardest game I've ever platinumed in my life. And the last game that I platinumed, the 25th game that I platinumed this year, making my record an amazing record, a personal best for me, and that is Spider-Man Miles Morales. This game here, I love the Spider-Man games. They're easy to platinum. The trophies aren't hard. It's just for this game, compared to the last Spider-Man game, you just have to beat the game, get all the collectibles, and you're done. This game here, you have to beat the main story. You have to do all the side missions. You have to find all the collectibles. And then once you beat the main mission, the, the main story, you are, you are able to play a new game plus, which basically you're starting a new game over from the beginning, but all of your unlocks and your levels, uh, anything that you unlocked and all of your levels that you gained throughout the last playthrough, you start over with where you left off that, with them, but you start the story over. And you have to, to get the platinum for this game, you have to play the story for a second time on new game plus, which was a little bit of annoying. I did go and get most of the collectibles done and get my first playthrough, took a couple weeks of a break from it, and then I decided I'm gonna go for the Platinum, and I played the second playthrough within a couple days, and finally got the Platinum for this game. And honestly, it was a lot of fun. Highly recommend any of the Spider-Man or any of the Marvel games, but the Spider-Man games are definitely the easiest ones to Platinum. Uh, I haven't played Guardians of the Galaxy yet, and Avengers was such a headache, I decided to pass on even attempting to get the Platinum. But Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales, Easy Platinums, and I definitely recommend. So, like I said, I do this video every year. 
where I share the platinum trophies that I earned the previous year, not to brag, but to not only share trophies that are easy and uh, games that are easy to obtain the trophy with, but to share some of the games that were a lot of fun that I did get the platinum out of, and to also keep on record so I know in the future what my personal best was, which for 2021, my personal best is 25. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat my personal best in the next couple of years, because 25 Platinums in one year is the most I've ever got. Last year, 2020 was 17, beating it with 25 this year. I don't know, next year, it depends. This year I did clear off a lot of my backlog. I did have a lot of easy games that I didn't know were easy games, got the Platinums out of those. But it is a challenge getting Platinums now. But we'll see what happens next year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.